Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more potential silver beast. You know, we had some yesterday Well, we've got even more today and the players look very very nice We've also got a returning legend not a legend legend, but a legend We will get to him in just a second But as you know if you are needing some ultimate team coins before we start FIFA ultimate team coins is your players Go into my code Fuji for 5% off or if you need game codes or anything gaming related The best time to buy is now head over to G2A and go into my code Fuji for 3% off your total order. So let's get into it. So to start off the list, we do in fact have Diego Capel. And one thing I will actually say is right at the start when I first played FIFA Ultimate Team, uh, never was an 09, well, when there was a foot founder, I started on FIFA 10 and he was one of the first goals that I used and he was awesome back then. Really pacey, nice skill. And this card looks incredible. It's gonna have something similar to these stats, you know, four star skills, 74 rated and what a silver card he's gonna be keep an eye out for him he's good so up next i'm probably gonna murder this guy's name but i'm gonna go for is uh from club bruge now he wasn't on fifa 15 ultimate team but he had sort of a career mode potential but then wasn't on the game for some reason well he's gonna be on it and look at these stats four star skills similar with uh with 92 pay 75 dribbling and he's also right footed so no problem cutting inside and maybe finessing or smashing it and I bet he's going to be very, very good. What's up with all these names? I'm not too sure how to pronounce this one, but I'll give it a go. Kolodzijak, uh, he used to be a left back, if I'm not mistaken. Now he's a centre back. His stats look absolutely incredible. 77 pace, 71 defending, and 74 physical. Like, I know, I know, they're not the confirmed stats, but it may be similar to it. There are so many Portuguese players popping up that look incredible for Silvers. And we've got another one, Vezo, or Veze, Vezu, <laughs> Vezo, you know. Um, he looks incredible. He's going to be the 74 racing, I hope. I hope he is. He looks incredible. And, uh, yeah, he's got some pretty nice stats and especially with the, all the other ones that are popping up, you're going to be able to build a really good Portuguese team. Next up, and it is the youngster, Odegaard, who will be on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. He wasn't on uh, FIFA 15 Ultimate Team, but he was added to the head-to-head. -head. And these were his stats. Well, sort of similar. 67 overall. I guess he's going to have the four-star weak foot, four-star skills, which is what he has on the game. Uh, so I doubt that EA are going to change that too much. But he's going to be a hyped-up player, especially like Master. So if you can pick him up or if you pack him, make sure you don't discard him. Keep him in your club until at least like, I guess, a month after the game release and then sell him on for more profit or use him. Yeah, use him. What did I say about these Portuguese players popping up? We've got another one, Bruma. He looks incredible. He's, I guess he's my favorite out of the list. I know I should have maybe Odegaard and a few others, but Bruma, these stats, and I feel that he is going to be like, overpowered in game great pace good dribbling nice and light on the ball fantastic shots if you need him to score four star skills four star weak foot what a silver card and he has actually been transferred into the Liga BBVA which I don't know what I think about that you know because I don't use Liga BBVA silvers too much so the legend returns who remembers him as Evado from the brass silver era used to have five star skills as a left back which is just damn right beast but seeing as uh, EA liked to down grade skills he may even have three star who knows but hopefully he does keep at least four star skills his stats um are taken from when he was last on fifa so i think i would downgrade his pace a little bit and maybe up the defending stats uh, or so but yeah he has been transferred so he will be in fifa 16 and i'm super hyped but guys those are a few more players for you to note down i've got a lot still to come so if you do enjoy these types of videos please do drop a like and apologies for no project pod but tonight i had my internet upgraded so i couldn't get on and yeah, you'll be having one tomorrow. So take it easy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys Team Fuji on the next one. Peace